It is the 16th of the 5th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. We're going to go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Snow and unusual weather in the Midlands of the United Kingdom. Snowfall as far south as the Midlands and overnight frost were described as unusual weather by mid-May by the Met Office as forecasters admitted the Jubilee could be a washout. Just 17 days before summer starts, hail and sleet uh, hit the morning rush hour in uh, Wolverhampton, West Mids, as well as Staffordshire and other places, Durham, Scotland. The Met Office said Scotland, uh, where temperatures fell to a near record low for this time of the year at negative 4 degrees Celsius, uh, that's 25 degrees Fahrenheit, at uh, Carngorm could uh, see snow settling on the mountains and the Pennies, Cumbera, and southern Scotland. Got another earthquake 6.0 in Papua New Guinea, uh, very active area of course. Two years after BP oil spill, is the Gulf ecosystem collapsing? The BP oil uh, spill started on April 20th, 2010. We previously warned that BP oil could spill could severely damage the Gulf ecosystem. Yeah, we've been going on about this for years. Since then, there are numerous signs that worst case scenarios may be playing out. And there's a huge list of different stories backing up to the fact that uh, the things that are going on in the Gulf of Mexico. A recent report also notes that there are fish eat, uh, flesh eating bacteria in the tar balls of BP oil washing up on Gulf beaches. And all and uh, all of that lovely corrects a dispersant sprayed on the water, land, and air? Question mark. It inhibits the ability of microbes to break down oil and allows oil and other chemicals to speed past the normal barriers of human skin. New York Times uh, reported impact of Gulf spills underwater disbursements is examined. Speaking on the chemical ingredients of the dispersants used, the report, the report finds of the 57 ingredients, 5 chemicals are associated with cancer, 33 are with skin irritation from rashes to burns, 33 are likened to eye irritation, and 11 are suspected of being potentially respiratory toxins or irritants. 10 suspected kidney toxins, 8 are suspected or known to be toxic to aquatic organisms, and 5 are six, uh, expected to have a moderate, moderate acute toxicity to fish. Crex is just a big poison and they dumped millions and millions of gallons of this. Over to the extinction protocol, uh, sun to turn into ring of fire on May 20th, 2012, solar eclipse. On Sunday, May 20th, the moon will pass in front of the sun, transforming sunbeams from across the Pacific side of the Earth into a fat, crescent, and thin rings of light. It's an annular solar eclipse in which the moon will cover as much as 94% of the sun. Hundreds of millions of people will be able to witness the event. The eclipse zone stretches from Southeast Asia across the Pacific Ocean to western parts of North America. In the United States, the eclipse begins around 5.30 p.m. Pacific Daily Time. Uh, for the next two hours, a moon-shaped portion of the sun will go into hiding. Greatest coverage occurs around 6.30 p.m. Pacific Time. And that's about all they've got going on tonight. Over to the Watchers, uh, here's a report that uh, Radchick brought out on her radio show when I happened to be a guest. Mysterious illness strikes hundreds of flight attendants, causes rations and hair loss. Are toxic uniforms really to blame, or is it Fukushima? Hundreds of Alaskan Airlines flight attem attendants have filed for formal complaint about uniforms they suspect might be causing their skin to rash and develop lesions, their hair to fall out. But based on the timing of the symptoms and the relation to similar symptoms in local marine life and polar bear populations, it appears as though radiation from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster may also be a potential culprit. And of course the story goes on and on. Over to the RSOE real quick, they got a couple things going on. Uh, Arizona Crown King area, big forest fire. Um, last reports they're calling out like a half dozen air tankers, uh, planes, and helicopters to go help fight this fire. 
I got a chemical plant explosion in Arkansas, El Dorado. Uh, the manufacturer says that they don't think any harmful chemicals were released during the explosion, but of course they've shut down the entire plant and uh, extensive damage throughout. Uh, landslides and tornadoes in the Philippines, uh, torrential rains, downpours, uh, we know the story with that. Over to the nuclear stuff, I'm going to start off on uh, Daily News Fukushima Diaries. Six in ten children under 12 years of age have diabetes in Fukushima. Uh, the director of a wise general hospital conducted health checkup for people in temporary dwellings um, in Fukushima Prefecture. The result showed 6 in 10 children under the 12, 12 years old have diabetes. Uh, the doctor states that this is an abnormal situation, but it's guessing it's because of the lack of exercise or stress. KEPCO, not TEPCO, with the K, KEPCO, raises power bill doubled. And these, uh, this is the company that was fighting the OI uh, nuclear power plant to get their nuclear power plants back and operating because of monetary sis, um, measures, not because of energy needs. Uh, power company, even if we have enough power, we need to restart nuclear power plants. Uh, KEPCO announced that they're going to raise electricity price as double for this summer. They're going to increase the price from 20 yen to 50 yen. Well, that's more than double per kilowatt hour between 1300 and 1600 when there's peak performance of course. Black substance in, in Hitachi City and this one's about 240,000 becquerels per kilogram five kilometers from the Imperial Palace and another story about Tokyo how black substance keeps coming back they keep finding more and more of this I'm thinking it's ash from the incinerators, but uh, this mysterious black dust. Over to e, e News. Japan resident on Tokyo area sample. Cesium's gamma signal was so strong, they were unable to identify any other isotopes. Uh, new Gunderson video out, plus local TV interviews. Uh, anonymous nuclear plant worker who exposes dangerous... San Ofre uh, nuclear power, power plant in California. You got to remember that's the one where they took out the four um, regular generators and then they put in two supercharged suckers that uh, have rattled themselves to pieces. And uh, big overhaul, all shot to hell there. Japanese diplomat deploy military to Fukushima Diachi? Question mark. If not, it may be too late. Uh, Japan government papers after 311 spent fuel pool number four at boiling point. It is empty. Heat caused fire. And Kyoto professor 100 plus years of aftershocks relatively close to Fukushima Daiichi may also affect volcano activity in the area. And this nuclear stuff's not going away for any time, any time soon. Millions of years. Some of these isotopes. A uh, Japanese medical doctor, contamination from Fukushima Daiichi now spreading all over the world. There may be radiation damage in other countries. And there's a video on that, of course. And, of course, all of these are fluffed down and padded um, for your sanity. Um, the insanity continues. It continues. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Um, don't forget that, that solar eclipse on the 20th. Uh, just try to stay out of Chicago. Enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks.